Okay, so bonjour once again. This is the second video of this series really about the present tense. And like I said last time, this is aimed for year seven students really, but also it's really good revision for all other year groups. And today we're focusing on RE verbs. Last last one we focused on ER verbs. Today we're focusing on ER on RE verbs. Okay. Just a quick reminder, I'm just gonna go over a few things. Same as last time, really, but just want to talk about what the present tense is. So the present tense is talking about what we're doing at the moment. So I play, I am playing, I listen, I am listening. Those sorts of sentences. And in those sentences, the most important word really you might be say might a lot of people might say is a verb. And as we said last in the last video, verbs are what you might call doing words. So words that have some sort of action involved. So I run, I play, he listens, she watches, we go. Those are all verbs and verbs are really important in sentences. So that's what we're dealing with today. Now, in French or in English, obviously we know verbs because we know how to speak English, but in French you need to find the verb that you need. That's the first thing we need to do. As I said last time, just to quickly go over it, you could look it up in a dictionary. So here we've got tomber is a verb, it's an ER verb, and here we've got coupé is another ER verb to cut. So you can find it in a dictionary. So if you want to say something in French, you have to look it up first. Or you might already know certain verbs. We'll come back to that in a minute. Before we do that, again, I just want to remind you of this, that when we use verbs, we can use them in all sorts of different forms. So for example, if we stick to the verb, let's stick to an, let's stick to an RE verb, which is the verb to sell. We'll see that one in a minute. You could say I sell or I am selling. So we're talking about selling your bike, perhaps. Je. We've got tu. You're, you are selling. We've got il. He sells. Elle. She sells. Nu, which is we. So we're selling our house, for example. Vous is the word for you. Il is the masculine form of they. And elle is the feminine form of they. I'm just going to really quickly just do a quick reminder of this. Just to remember that in French there are two words for you. One of them, this one up here, tu, is used when you're talking to a friend or to one person. And the one further down, vous, is used when you're talking to a group of people or someone that you don't know very well. So there's two words for you in French, just so you can be a little bit more precise. And also you may remember that there's two words for they. Il, so that's a group of boys. So let's say I don't know. There's some boys selling um, some cupcakes at a sale. Then you could say il, and if there's a group of girls, you'd say l. They're selling some cupcakes. So il and l. There are two words for they. You just have to be a bit careful with that. And remember, if it's a mixed group, then we use the il form. And also, just, I've usually keep showing this slide because it's very important that we get used to this format because you are going to see this quite a lot. So just to remind you that the first four people, the first person singular, the second person singular, and the third person singular are one person. Je, I, tu, you, il, he, and el, she. There's one person involved in those activities. Whereas the bottom four, there is more than one person involved. So we, you, and they. So that's why they come in that order, and you need to remember that order really. Okay, today we're talking about RE verbs. And just like ER verbs, they're called that because they end in those letters. So RE verbs end in RE. Now, they're not as common as ER verbs. We said last time, if you remember, that ER verbs are 90% of verbs in French are ER verbs. So RE verbs are not as important, not as common, but we do need to try and make sure we remember them in case we need one. So for example, here's a few we might want to look at. So we've got vendre to sell, attendre to wait, répondre to reply, and descendre to go down. So those are RE verbs. They all end in RE. But as we said last time, at the moment, that, for example, the top one, vendre, that means to sell. So you cannot just put that word for I, je, in front of that word, because that means I to sell, 
and it doesn't really make sense. So we have to change it around a little bit. So like I said, they're not as important as the ER verbs, but we do need to try and remember them. If you look at the that list of verbs there, to wait, to sell, to reply, to doubt, to go down, they're not as common verbs as we saw last time. Play, watch, that sort of thing, eat. Those are very common verbs, we use them all the time. These verbs, we don't really use them all the time, but we just need to try and make sure we can remember how to use them. What happens if you're in your exam and it says translate the sentence, I am selling my bike, and you don't know the verb to sell, and you don't know what to do with the word to sell, then you're going to be in a bit of a mess and you won't be able to get that answer right. So we just need to try and make sure we remember as much as possible. So these are RE verbs. Let's have a look at what we do with them. So just like the other type of verbs, they follow a pattern. So the first thing we do, again, I want you to remember this, is we drop the RE off the end. Bye bye. And then we add on different types of endings. And unfortunately, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just have the same endings on as we did for ER verbs? But unfortunately, it isn't. So we have to try and remember the different type of endings. So if you want to say I sell, je, you say add on an S. And you don't really pronounce it, so it's just je vends. I sell. If you want to say you sell, you might ask a question, are you selling your house? Tu vends ta maison? Then you add an S on the end as well. So tu vends, you're selling. Next we've got he and she. We, sorry, we've got he, he and she. We don't add anything onto he and she. We just leave it there. So it's just V-E-N-D at the end. We sell is O-N-S just like before. And in fact, the bottom three, they're just the same as the other verbs. So O-N-S, E-Z, E-N-T. So we sell is nous vendons, O-N-S on the end. You sell is vous vendez. So again, you might be asking someone if they're selling something. And they sell is ils vendent or elles vendent. They're selling. So those are the endings for RE verbs. S, S, nothing. O-N-S, E-Z, E-N-T. And again, just like last time, we have to try and learn those endings. S, S, blank, or S, S, nothing, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. S, S, blank, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. So luckily, the bottom three are still the same as before, but we've just got to learn these top ones. So we have to try and learn these endings as we go along, because as you carry on in French over the next few years, if you don't start learning the endings now, then you're going to get all muddled up because the way French verbs work is it's just about remembering different endings for different tenses. So we need to start remembering them as we go along. So S, S, nothing, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. And what you should do now, hopefully, is go on YouTube and have a look and put, type in French RE verb song and you'll find lots of nice little videos of how to remember the endings for these verbs. So somehow we have to remember you can create your own song if you want. So those are the endings for RE verbs. S, S, nothing, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. Let's have a look how that works. So have a go at these. And again, hopefully you've been writing some of these things down, so we should be able to have a go. So I wait for a start. We'll do that one. So maybe you're waiting for the bus, perhaps. I wait, you're going to have this to start with. So you've got the word je. We've got rid of the A because... Got rid of the e, sorry, because we say it got two vowels that would go together there. So we've got je and then attend. So at the moment that means I to wait, and we just need to change it slightly. So we get rid of the re, we drop it off the end, bye bye, and we add on an s because these are re verbs. J'attends is I wait or I am waiting for. Next, you reply. So we've got two. You have a go. You pause this video. Have a go You're on your own, please. So you've got two, and you've got répondre. You should have written these verbs down. So to répond. But at the moment that means you to reply or you to answer. So it doesn't really make sense. So you need to drop off the re from the end, and this time once again we add on an s. Tu réponds. You answer. Next we've got he sells. So maybe he's selling a football or something. So you've got the word il and vendre. So he is the word for il is the word for he and vendre is to sell. So that means he to sell at the moment. 
So again, we follow the pattern. We take off the RE, and this time we don't add anything on because if you remember, the endings are SS nothing. So il vend, he's selling or he sells. Next, we've got she waits. So L is the word for she, and attendre is the word for to wait. She waits for. And again, we follow the same pattern. We knock the RE off the end, and we add on this time nothing. We leave it the same, because just like he, he and she always go together, we don't add anything on to that one. So elle attend is she waits or she's waiting for. Super. Next, we've got we go down. So we're going down the stairs, we might say. So the word for we is nous, and the word descendre means to go down. But at the moment, that means we to go down. So again, we follow the pattern. We take the RE off the end, and this time we add on ONS, just like before, ONS. So nous descendons, we are going down, or we go down. Descendre could also mean to get off as well. So we get off the bus, you might say. Nous descendons. Next, you sell. Or maybe you can use it in a question. So vous and vendre, that means you to sell. So we take off the RE, and this time we add on an EZ. Vous vendez. You sell. Vous vendez la maison? Are you selling your house? You could turn that around and say vendez-vous and make it into a question. Next, we've got a group of males, a group of boys or a group of men going downstairs again maybe. So that would be il descendre, that means they to go down. And so we take off the RE from the end and we put on our ENT. Il descend. They're going down the stairs. And finally, we've got a group of ladies, group of girls replying to something. Maybe they're replying to an email. So, elle répondre, that means they to reply. And if we want to make that into a proper sensitive French, we knock off the RE from the end and we put on ENT. Elle répond, they reply or they answer. So, those there we've got some verbs, how to use them. Remember this pattern that we're knocking off the RE off the end and we're putting on different endings depending on who we want to talk about. So, we've got SS nothing. O N S E Z E N T. S S nothing. O N S E Z E N T. Okay, let me try and remember those endings. You just sit down, I'm afraid, and just have a go at trying to remember the endings. Okay, and if we want some more practice on this, which we do, I'm sure, we can go on Language Online website. You don't need a password. And if you go on fr Francais on the left hand side, and then Grammar, and then there's a whole section on RE verbs, which is really good for helping you get this mastered. Okay. Merci. Au revoir.